Pregnancy, also known as gestation, is the time during which one or more offspring develops inside a woman. A multiple pregnancy involves more than one offspring. Such as with twins, pregnancy usually occurs by sexual intercourse, but can also occur through assisted reproductive technology procedures. A pregnancy may end in a live birth, a spontaneous miscarriage, an induced abortion, or a stillbirth. Childbirth typically occurs around 40 weeks from the start of the last menstrual period after which the term fetus is used until birth. Signs and symptoms of early pregnancy may include missed periods, tender breasts, morning sickness, hunger, and frequent urination. Pregnancy may be confirmed with a pregnancy test. Pregnancy is divided into three trimesters, each lasting for approximately three months. The first trimester includes conception which is when the sperm fertilizes the egg. The fertilized egg then travels down the fallopian tube and attaches to the inside of the uterus, where it begins to form the embryo and placenta. During the first trimester, the possibility of miscarriage is at its highest around the middle of the second trimester. Movement of the fetus may be felt. At 28 weeks, more than 90% of babies can survive outside of the uterus if provided with high-quality medical care. Though babies born at this time will likely experience serious health complications such as heart and respiratory problems and long-term intellectual and developmental disabilities, prenatal care improves pregnancy outcomes. Prenatal care may include taking extra folic acid, avoiding drugs, tobacco smoking, and alcohol, taking regular exercise, having blood tests, and regular physical examinations. Complications of pregnancy may include disorders of high blood pressure gestational diabetes, iron deficiency anemia, and severe nausea and vomiting. In the ideal childbirth labor begins on its own when a woman is at term. Babies born before 37 weeks are preterm and at higher risk of health problems such as cerebral palsy. Babies born between weeks 37 and 39 are considered early term, while those born between weeks 39 and 41 are considered full term. Babies born between weeks 41 and 42 weeks are considered late term, while after 42 weeks they are considered post term. Delivery before 39 weeks by labor induction or cesarean section is not recommended unless required. For other medical reasons, about 213 million pregnancies occurred in 2012, of which 190 million of unplanned pregnancies are aborted. Among unintended pregnancies in the United States, 60% of the women used birth control to some extent during the month pregnancy occurred. Associated terms for pregnancy are gravid and paris. Gravidus and gravid come from the Latin word meaning heavy, and a pregnant female is sometimes referred to as a gravida. Gravidity refers to the number of times that a female has been pregnant. Similarly, the term parity is used for the number of times that a female carries a pregnancy to a viable stage. Twins and other multiple births are counted as one pregnancy and birth. A woman who has never been pregnant is referred to as a nulla gravida. A woman who is pregnant for the first time is referred to as a primi gravida. And a woman in subsequent pregnancies is a multi gravida or as multiparous. Therefore, during a second pregnancy a woman would be described as gravida 2. Para 1 and upon live delivery as gravida 2. Para 2. In progress pregnancies, abortions, miscarriages and or stillbirths account for parity values being less than the gravida number. In the case of a multiple birth the gravida number and parity value are increased by one only. Women who have never carried a pregnancy more than 20 weeks are referred to as nulliparous. A pregnancy is considered term at 37 weeks of gestation. It is preterm if less than 37 weeks and post-term at or beyond 42 weeks of gestation. American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists have recommended further division with early term 37 weeks up to 39 weeks, full term 39 weeks up to 41 weeks, and late term 41 weeks up to 42 weeks. The terms preterm and postterm have largely replaced earlier terms of premature and postmature. Preterm and postterm are defined above, whereas premature and postmature have historical meaning and relate more to the infant's size and 
state of development rather than to the stage of pregnancy. The usual signs and symptoms of pregnancy do not significantly interfere with activities of daily living or pose a health threat to the mother or baby. However, pregnancy complications can cause other more severe symptoms, such as those associated with anemia. Common signs and symptoms of pregnancy include the chronology of pregnancy is unless otherwise specified, generally given as gestational age, where the starting point is the beginning of the woman's last menstrual period, or the corresponding age of the gestation as estimated by a more accurate method if available. Some 